<laughs> and that's exactly where you're coming from. Perfect. Perfect. Nailed it. Right on your leg. <laughs> <laughs> With the scheduled release of February 24th, Jesus Revolution is based on American author and pastor Greg Laurie and his book of the same name, Jesus Revolution. Yeah, it, yeah, it could be like, don't be ridiculous, and then you back out, and you're becoming exactly what was happening. You know, yeah, let's just... I have a problem with father figures. <laughs> <laughs> about the Jesus movement in California during the 1970s. Today we will be walking you through some of the behind the scenes moments on how they put this film together. I got you to control it on the line. That's yeah, the right. superpower. Yeah. Super. Can we grab your water? Day one. What can I say? Day one. Day one. Day one. Day one. It was so good! Oh. But before we get into it, some trivia for you. Given that this film is produced from the company Lionsgate, what is their highest grossing film to date? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. What brought you to that realization? You know, I kept searching and searching. I just finally got to the end of it and there was still a void. Inspired by a true movement, Jesus Revolution tells the story of a young Greg Laurie being raised by his struggling mother, and this film, coming from a true story and movement, makes it all the more meaningful. With a rating of PG-13 due to light drug use in the beginning, it's a little shocking to me and some of the few reviews that have come out about it saying that the portrayal is accurate. <laughs> That's my only joke that I have. <laughs> That's the only joke I have. <laughs> Kelsey Grammer stars in this film, which will make its worldwide premiere next week. And when looking at the trailer, it appears that this film is semi a comedy, but in fact, it is a drama history film, which makes sense considering what the film is all about. When you put the wardrobe on, do you feel like, do you feel- the burns for me. Oh, that's what settles it's you the in? It's for me. Makes the wardrobe, yes, for sure. But for this project, it's the sideburns. It's so out there. Joel Courtney, Anna Grace Barlow, and Devon Franklin also star in this film, and we get to see these actors practice their lines. Can you look at it? Hold on. It's beautiful. It's, that, it's a perfect silhouette. All right? Jesus. With the and Barry. Oh my gosh. Mark. <laughs> I need to kiss Actor Kelsey Grammer, who plays Pastor Greg Laurie, got emotional while talking about his portrayal of a pastor in his new film. He could be an axe murderer. Anyone could be an axe murderer. Look, just listen to him for 10 minutes, and if you think he's crazy, I'll throw him out myself. This house has a very I love this movie. I really love it, Grammer said through tears, adding that his wife, Kate Walsh, had the same reaction. When Kate saw it, she said, oh my god, it's the best thing you've ever done, he recalled. She started crying. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. There's so many qualifiers in the way too. John, first step. I'm thinking about you in the middle. I never thought about that. I'm in the middle? I don't know. I think you're gonna play. You're gonna play with him. Oh, okay. Catholic actor Jonathan Rumi sat down with CNA to discuss his character as he played Jesus in another hit series, The Chosen. You tell me. Great job. 
It's really, yeah, really feel like you just <laughs> really um, absorb that. <laughs> He says Lonnie Frisbee was this evangelist, hippie, street preacher in the 1960s and 70s who brought thousands of kids to Christ through his charismatic preaching. Well, uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to say, for the record, you know, uh, in case anyone's taking notes. Getting to play Lonnie was just a dream because he's a preacher. So he has these gifts of the spirit and he has this love for Christ that I can identify with. I'm, uh, I'm Greg Glory. Oh yeah, I think I remember you. Oh, you do? Oh, wow. wow. Jeez. Jeez, man. Is it the way I'm saying it? <laughs> in this Q&A, Joel Courtney and Jonathan Rumi answer a few questions in regard to the film and the real life events. Is there anything from the time period of the movie that you wish was still in today or anything you're glad that we no longer have? Parachute pants. Oh. I don't know, there's just something fun about them. They kind of like swish around. You know, the wooden, they make, they make a lot of noise. They, they do make a lot of noise. <laughs> The special feature of the film lets us see how the cast was put together and where the story came from. Great shot, cool. All right, cut. That is so cool. Back when the film was being produced, a news outlet got up close and personal with the cast and production crew to see what they were up to. I just think it's going to be so uplifting. There's comedy, there's tenderness, there's complexity with all of the characters. The production value is incredible. It feels like we've just been dropped into a moment in history. As for the real story of this revelation and where it came from, the Jesus Revolution's true story reveals that it was a national spiritual awakening that began within a community of teenage hippies in Southern California and spread across the country. Spectacle, it's an encounter, and I do what the spirit leads me to do. No, you use the spirit as an excuse to do whatever you want. You're holding it down, man. You're becoming exactly the thing that we were fighting against. Also called the Jesus Movement, while members of Chuck Smith's Calvary Chapel Movement did not live in communes, many other young people in the Jesus Movement did. In such communities, the sharing of possessions was common and the well-being of the group was more important than the individual. What's really rad about this is be an object. I'm talking about to me this worked, but it could also be like a, like a hi. You know that type thing. Yeah, that's better. Not only was the real life event based on this, but it was a book. And the film isn't based on the book, but the real life events themselves. The book was given the title of the same name and tells the story of how God transformed an unlikely generation and how he could do it again today. What is going on? It seemed like the whole nation was unraveling. But then three years later, Time Magazine did another cover and it had the title Jesus Revolution. And that's what happens when God steps into the story. The director of this film, John Irwin, goes on to explain some of the real life events that led up to the Jesus Revolution. A Time Magazine cover that had no, no image on it, just black and white words over black, it was in 1967 and uh, it said, is God dead? And uh, four years later, uh, Jesus was on the cover of Time, and it said the Jesus Revolution. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, The Hunger Games Catching Fire was the highest grossing film Lionsgate produced, with $865 million in the box office. I, my gut is to never have them on. So let's make him reading one. glasses. Yeah. When he, was, when he walks out with his papers, he's about to read it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it's sort of something to fiddle with, yeah. but to me, I'm, I'm more inside your psyche without the one. So what do you guys think about all these moments and what are your expectations on this film? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.
buying you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>